Hello friends, hope you are fine. Shall we begin to learn how a computer works? These are explained in this lesson. We are going to learn three things in this lesson. To learn how a computer works, learn to identify input, processing and output. To get an idea about family and classification of computers. Chapter 2. Working of a computer. Friends, you know on what I am working? Yeah, I am working on a computer. It is very interesting to know about the working of a computer. I am sure that you will enjoy your work quickly and easily using a computer. Friends, you give any command, the same will be displayed on the monitor. If needed, you can correct and save them. You see the following calculation. 5 plus 6. 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. At last, you will get the result. Classifications of computer parts. Input devices. The computer devices used to give commands and enter data to the computer are known as input devices. The main and commonly used input devices are keyboard, mouse, scanner, microphone and web camera. Friends, first we will study the functions of keyboard which is used to write letters and input numbers. Next is mouse. What are the functions of mouse? It's used to draw pictures and select files, etc. Another input device is scanner. Scanners are used to convert pictures, photos, letters and documents into digital form. The microphone is used to record different sounds, that is the audio files to the computer. Next is joystick. The joystick is used to play games. And finally, web camera. The web camera is used to capture photos and videos. Output devices. The output devices are connected to the computer to give out the result according to our commands. Monitor, printer, speaker, etc. are output devices. Friends, please watch the following pictures. The monitor displays the result on its screen. Speaker helps us to bring out the sounds like songs, music, etc. from the computers. The printer can print a document from the computer on a paper. All these functions are done only according to the instructions given by us. It means that all the works needs a command from human brain. CPU. The CPU is the main part of the computer. The CPU gives instructions to the computer. It carries out all the calculations and logical operations. It can also store data in storage devices. The CPU controls all other parts of the computer. Friends, I think we may have already discussed the expansion of CPU. It is the central processing unit. Friends, you see, first we give data through input devices. Computer accepts this and then processes the CPU to display the result through output device, usually a monitor. Storage devices. Friends, we have to work more using a computer. Do you know where it is saving and storing it? The computer can store data in certain locations. Let me describe the main storage locations. Hard disk. Hard disk is inside the CPU. DVD. DVD. Digital versatile disk. Not inside the computer. The same can be used separately. We can carry it to any other place and use it. Memory card. The memory card is also not inside the computer. The same can be used separately. We can easily carry this to any other place and use it. It can be kept in our pocket also. Pen drive. The pen drive is also not inside the computer. Commonly, the same has been used separately. Pen drive is also known as flash memory.